afternoon on my way to Hiawassee, Georgia to see uh, Bert Kreishner perform some stand-up. Excited about that. I mean, I've, I've not been to a stand-up comedy show that I paid to go to that wasn't wrapped up in some other event I was at ever. I've really grown to love stand-up comedy. The first, uh, the first stand-up comic I ever watched a full special of was uh, Burt Kreischer's special where he did the machine joke, and that made me love stand-up. So I'm excited for that. You got to stop at Track Supply on the way there and pick up a few things, but we we'll get there when we get there. We should we should have 30 minutes extra time to get to the show, so I have plenty of time to stop. But this week, I've been working out in uh, the middle of nowhere, wiring a house. I'm going to make my volume a little louder so maybe you can hear me better. Wiring a house out in the middle of nowhere. And the, the crazy thing is, is this has been a record year for bear, uh, bear activity, bear sightings here in this area. And the crazy thing is I've seen more bears this week working out of that house in the middle of nowhere than I have in my life. I mean, we've seen bears every single day we've been on that job site. We finished it today. And I thought I wasn't going to see a bear today because I didn't see one on site, but I saw one running off the side of the road whenever I was about to leave the subdivision. I've seen seven bears in five days, which is crazy. Uh, I saw a mom, two cubs, a big male, a smaller male. Actually, that was a mother and a cub, was the fifth and sixth, and then I saw the biggest bear I've ever seen in my life today. It was huge, running away from the side of the road. You know, when you see a bear, I mean, a bear just looks like a big, fluffy dog. You know, so it's it's got this cuddly, cute exterior packaging. Now, bears, they're adorable. I mean, there's a reason why we give our children teddy bears. They're, uh, they're cute. Bears are cute. But you have to be careful, because they might look cute, but they are vicious killers on the inside. A bears, while most bears are peaceful, will not seek you out to kill you. If they feel threatened by you, well, I'm talking about black bears here. That's what we, we only have black bears around here. I've never, I've never heard of anyone having seen a brown bear in this area. You know, and I can't talk to the behavior of brown bears as much. I'm not as much, have as much expertise on this, but black bears are generally not going to seek you out to hurt you, and most of the time they'll run away from you. But a mama bear with cubs, and she feels like you're threatening her cubs, will absolutely rip you to shreds. You won't live. So I was thinking about how a lot of times we ourselves present ourselves that way. You know, a lot of times, you know, on the service level, we're nice enough people. We're your friend. We'll help you out. But if you get on the wrong side of me, rip you to shreds. Well, I think that's the temptation that everybody struggles with, is that desire for vengeance. Everybody wants justice. It doesn't matter what's happened to you, if it was right or not, if you deserved it or not, you want justice. And that's one of those things that we have to work to overcome in our lives is the desire to enact vengeance for ourselves. What does the Bible say? Vengeance is the Lord's. Vengeance is the Lord's. So, just remember, don't be like a bear. Don't present yourself as Oh, I'm, I'm nice, I'm friendly, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. And then the second, the second you feel threatened, whether the threat is true or not, go after whoever you're feeling threatened by as if they have wronged you beyond belief. And I'm not saying never defend yourself, but don't go after people when there is not an absolutely righteous, justified reason to. 
don't hurt people for no reason. You know, you should, you should not ever find yourself doing things that you know are wrong and finding ways to justify them. Don't rip people to shreds. Just because you feel threatened. And that's not to say talking about physical threats. I'm talking more about interpersonal relationships here. You know, if you feel like somebody is threatening your authority in the social hierarchy, it may not even be true. It may be your own insecurities and they've done nothing. Examine yourself and examine the situation before you do anything rash. So that's my message for today. Don't be like a bear. Don't hurt people for no reason. And examine yourself. So, hope you all had a good day. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is good for you as well. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.